At the Milky Way's heart, strong winds are the norm. The speed of the Sun orbiting the galactic center has now been measured by astronomers to be a startling 3,000 miles 4, kilometers, per second. At this speed, it would take just three days for Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. What is at the center of the galaxy that can propel stars to such speeds? Astronomers considered numerous scenarios. Do superdense stellar remnants, aka, the neutron stars, form a tight cluster in the galaxy center? Or even a sizable ball of neutrinos at the subatomic level? But in the spring of 2002, these and other more bizarre possibilities were eliminated when a star named S2 raced down in its incredibly erratic orbit and passed 17 light hours of the center of the Milky Way, a small distance in terms of galactic distance. Three times as far as Pluto is from the Sun is the distance light travels in 17 hours. A supermassive black hole is the only entity that is both sufficiently compact and big to propel stars at such high speeds. Plotting the orbits of S2 and other stars significantly increased the evidence that a black hole must be present at the center of the Milky Way. What about the internal realm? About 26,000 light years away from Earth, near the constellation Sagittarius, is where the galactic core is located. It is an area of the sky where brilliant stars coexist with ominous gas and dust clouds. When astronomers watch it in visible light, the true center is too shrouded to disclose much. The information we have about it comes from data gathered at radio and infrared wavelengths. These wavelengths can penetrate the gas and dust to reach the telescopes on Earth. The second strongest source of radio energy after the Sun, in the sky, is the galactic core according to astronomers. Sagittarius A, frequently abbreviated as SGRA, is the name of this large core region. Mysterious Stars In 2003, GES used the Keck Telescope's adaptive optics equipment to capture a spectrum of S2 in space. The spectrum showed that S2 is a gigantic star with a mass that is around 15 times that of the Sun. In this instance, such massive stars run out of hydrogen in less than 10 million years. Therefore, S2 must be less than 10 million years old. S2 and other stars that are in close orbit around SGRA both have extremely heated atmospheres. This suggests that the star is still quite young. These stars were created between 3 and 6 million years ago. This poses a significant issue, why are such young stars circling so close to SGRA, an area of tremendous gravitational pull and severe magnetic fields that ordinarily prevents star formation? Stellar Masquerade What appears to be youthful stars are actually the combined cores of older suns. The sun's cold exterior layers may have been torn away by the impacts, revealing their heated interiors. A large cluster of stars that look to be much younger than they actually are would be the end outcome. However, there is a drawback to this situation. Both stars should be destroyed in a collision powerful enough to remove the outer layers, leaving just a path of hot gas behind. Astronomers have therefore suggested substitutes. For instance, maybe the stars were created elsewhere and pulled inward due to the black hole's gravity. Imaging the black hole The strongest proof that a black hole exists at the center of the Milky Way is still fast-moving stars like S2. Periodic infrared light flashes from SGR serve as additional support. According to the bursts, the black hole completes a turn once every 17 minutes. Additionally, astronomers have discovered powerful radio pulses coming from SGRA. This could mean that the black hole is being filled with packets of extremely hot gas and dust. Radio energy penetrates through obscuring veil of gas and dust that surrounds the galactic center, providing a chance to directly image a black hole. A black hole is essentially invisible on its own. However, it would be visible as a shadow against the spiraling disk of gas accretion. As the gas accelerates around the black hole at a fast speed, energy is released. In the coming years, astronomers anticipate that the Event Horizon Telescope, a nearly Earth-sized radio observatory made up of a dozen different instruments, will be able to image the silhouette of the black hole.
However, it should be kept in mind that all of this is still circumstantial evidence. If scientists could truly capture an image of the black hole's event horizon, beyond which no matter or light can escape, they might have conclusive proof. Whatever the outcome, imaging the Milky Way's central black hole would strengthen the case for black hole's existence and maybe provide crucial new information about the development of galactic cores.